Hi, my name is Bola Obileye and I'm your skinny cook. Today I'll be sharing with you 10 things I did to help me lose weight from a size 18 to a size 8. So if you're trying to lose weight, you've got to listen up for these tips. But before we get into the crux of the matter, I need you to do me a huge favor. See that button over there that says subscribe? Could you click on it please? Yes, please subscribe. And also, if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. As you know, it's a new channel and we're trying to build our audience and also make sure that we target everything at you. Making sure I'm talking about things that you want to hear and learn about. All about losing weight and all about healthy eating. So if there's anything you want to ask me, feel free to comment below, ask me any questions, anything to do with my weight loss, I'll be more than happy to help you. So let's get in there. What are the 10 things I did to lose weight? Number one, no sugar. This one is a big one for a lot of people, but this will actually show that you're disciplined and you're ready to really, really start the journey. Losing weight is no small feat. You really have to get your mind settled on the matter that you're going to do what it takes to lose weight. And sugar is a small price to pay. So try to take out sugar from everything and anything. So start by learning to have your morning tea, your coffee, anything you have that would normally have sugar in it, just take out sugar. In fact, you'd be surprised how quickly you become used to living sugar-free. Living sugar-free is not hard at all. It's just about retraining your tongue and retraining your, your brain to accept taste and flavors of other things rather than that sweetness alone. Because when you have something that is sweet, it drowns out every other taste. So there's a good side to it. At least you learn what other things taste like without the sugar. So that's number one no sugar. Number two, no random snacking. I'm one of those people that would drive up to the fuel station, get a, a, a bit of uh, fuel in the car and stop over and pick up on little things. That had to stop. Everything that goes in your mouth, remember, has calories attached to it. Your body needs to account for it. You need to account for everything that goes into your mouth. So from, you know, random chocolate bars to random biscuits, those things are not getting put in a bucket somewhere in your body. Your body needs to put them somewhere. So it's part of all the fat that goes all around your body. So make sure you keep an eye on everything that goes into your mouth so, no random snacking. Number three. Again, this ties in with no sugar. So you're going to take out your sodas. You know the Coca-Colas and all those fizzy drinks you like? You need to take them right out. They're bad for you. They contain lots of sugars and lots and lots of chemicals you don't even know how to pronounce. Well, I don't know how to pronounce half of them. They're not good for your body and they help um, your body just get stuck with the fat. And that's not what we want. We want things that will help your body break down the fat. We want things that will help your body lose every toxin rather than build up the toxins in your body. So yes, you need to take out all the fizzy drinks. If you really, really want to have that, um, you know that, uh, what you call it, that soda uh, taste in your mouth, why not switch over and have uh, sparkling water instead? Um, get used to drinking water. Water's good for you. So no sodas. And you know, you've got to remind yourself that this is a journey. It's got a start date and it's got an end date. And while I say take out the sodas, I usually say you find that once you take it out and learn to leave it out, you won't miss it. And it will become a lifestyle change for you. You start to enjoy drinking water and making your own healthy drinks. How about that? Number four, 
And this one is quite a tricky one for a lot of people. No chewing gum. Yes, absolutely no chewing gum. And this is the reason. See these things right here? They are loaded with carbs. Some of them are sugar free, but guess what? One of these is loaded with sometimes over 30 chemicals. If you think I'm joking, buy one of these and try to see how many things go into these things. These things are not good for you. Take them out, lose them. And the other thing is, it also adds to the sugar that's in your body. Yes, some of them are sugar free, but the information it tells your body is that more sugar is coming. So, I mean, when we get into the whole science of weight loss, I'll explain this further. But when you chew gum and you introduce something sweet, you are sending a message to your brain to want more sweet things. So even though they might not be sugar, so to speak, and they might be um, sugar alternatives, just lose it. It doesn't help your journey. It makes you crave for foods that are sweet. You suddenly find that you want to eat cakes and everything you don't or would not help you lose weight. And that leads us to the next item. No flour, number five. So yes, no cakes for at least three months when you start to lose weight. Not forever, but at least when you're trying to lose weight. You've got to remember that you need to isolate some foods that make your body uh, wish for more of those nasties, really. During those three months, you've got to see cakes as one of those nasties. Cakes and any items made of flowers. But having said that though, nothing stops you from baking your own healthy cakes. So you can swap over cakes that are made from wheat and uh, the regular flowers with cakes that you make from coconut flour, from almond flour. Almond flour and coconut flour are fabulous. They're very low in carbohydrates, but very high in fiber. And basically what that means is that when you eat them, it helps, you know, even your digestive system because you eat them, they're low in carbs and they go right through because your body can't digest fiber anyway. So when you eat them, you know they're coming right back out. So at least you know that you're getting that cake satisfaction without getting the regular cake that clogs up your body with carbs and makes you, you know, turns it into glucose and then in turn turns it into fat and you don't want all that hassle. So remember, no regular cakes. Make your own home-baked cakes from coconut flour, almond flour, and just, you know, even wheat. Don't let anyone tell you wheat bread is better than this and that. that. Don't get yourself confused. Just stick with um, flours that are very high in fiber and very low in carbohydrates. And again, this leads me on to number six, reduce your carbohydrates. That's what I had to do. I had to get my carbohydrates from vegetables. There are lots of fabulous vegetables out there. You've got to open your mind to discover more foods. As you know, I'm Nigerian by birth. And the hardest thing for a Nigerian is to swap over our food. We'll give up our clothes. We'll even give up our accent if we can. But we ain't giving up our food. What are you talking about? But the downside is our food is so carbohydrate loaded. So you've got to realize that when you're trying to lose weight, you've got to learn to open up your mind to discover new things. I had to discover new vegetables, kales, you know, all the things that I never ever used to touch. I even had to find a way to make spinach and um, all sorts of things like lettuce and, you know, discover your greens, go into the shop, broccoli. These things are beautiful. There's so much beautiful food out there waiting for you to discover. Don't just stick with what you know. And they're great carbohydrate sources. So while we say reduce your carbohydrates, it doesn't mean reduce them completely. Change your carbohydrate source from starchy foods to more healthier stuff that your body needs. 
vegetables and you know you know vegetables are full of vitamins your body loves them it will do your world a whole lot of good your skin will look better you feel better you feel more vibrant and yes your tummy will feel lighter too and that's how we like it seven <laughs> can't count <laughs> so number seven is also a very interesting one see these things right here stock cubes you've got to lose them no stock cubes yes this is a lifestyle change for you you see those things they're stuck and stuffed full of starch and all sorts of crazy GM and chemicals that you don't even want to start to understand these things are difficult for your body to understand and they're also carbs heavy even though they look really harmless and they help your food taste sweet or you think they help them taste spicy you can make your own stock cubes you will learn to use healthy natural spices yes you know your thymes your pepper the ginger the turmeric all those good healthy stuff garlic you know things that you can you know mix up and rustle up yourself and if you can't go into the stores and try to find some really good clean um, spices like this one on the back of it it says it has zero percent of everything apart from sodium and if you look on the back just checking out the ingredients oregano uh, black pepper so these are more or less like you know been pre-prepped for you and these are they look healthy but having said that I would still rather make my own spices so I get my cayenne pepper I get my salt I mix in all the spices myself that way you know exactly what is going into your mouth wholesome clean food easy food for your body to digest and also good food that is providing vitamins and nutrients into your body instead of putting in chemicals and chemicals and chemicals think about the time you're losing weight as a cleansing process for your body all this while you've been filling your body with all sorts of chemicals this is a time for you to take responsibility for every and anything that is going into your mouth i promise you your skin will thank you for it you look much younger i'm 44 years old and people say that i look younger i have to say i actually love it when people say that and it's actually a good compliment and you will find that that happens to you as well just keep everything clean keep everything natural as much as you can so yes for the period where we're working on you to get you to that body you want no stock cubes and like I said you wouldn't even want to go back to them and that takes us to number eight finally <laughs> I get it right number eight and number eight again similar to number seven I swapped over my oils I used to use all manner of crazy vegetable oils and sunflower oils and all sorts of crazy things but you know what your body needs the fat but your body needs good fat and what I did is I swapped all my sunflower oil and those kind of craziness for good oils like avocado oil uh, things like uh, even red palm oil did you know very good for you um, just healthier version and obviously how could I ever forget coconut uh, coconut oil coconut oil is just amazing the only thing that I have to warn you is it's got this aftertaste um, that you need to get used to so I try to use it more for when I'm baking or when I uh, need to add a bit of sweetness into something or if it's a step before a step so that you know that and I'll, I'll show you later on when I cook uh, what I mean a step before a step where it dulls out the taste but if you don't mind and you love the the taste of coconut um, oil then go for it but having said that I love avocado oil just a little bit extra but your body will thank you for it and number nine 
that's nine isn't it yeah and number nine i really need to learn to count on number nine and this is a serious one for the period that we're working on you and i usually start everyone off with three months we are going to cut out the fruits this is one thing i want you to remember fruits are like nature's candy store so if we've said no sugar if we've said reduce your carbohydrates and if we've said keep an eye on everything that goes in it would be counterproductive if we're loading it all back in with our apples and our mangoes and our grapes those things are loaded with sugar honestly they're nature's sugar so for that period where we're trying to lose weight we are going to take out the fruits having said that you will still be able to have strawberries and every other thing from the berry family so if it's not strawberries or something from the berry family uh, blackberries actually a lie you can have carrots as well though those are very very low in sugar uh, sometimes I depending on uh, the meal plan you can have watermelons which I do now because I'm in maintenance and melons come in different forms as well uh, I think there are other melons that you can have we'll have to check out the uh, the sugar content of those but generally take out things like bananas take out things like grapes take out things like apples snack on strawberries snack on things that are very very low in sugar it would do your world of good and it would help your body get into that frame of mind that we're not having any extra party here we're going to work on what we have and we're going to work on burning fats eat lots of your fats don't be afraid lose all those low fat foods walk away when you go into the store and you see all those low fat low you don't need that you need good fats what i also did which brings me on to number 10 is i cut out dairy so i took out the milks the regular milks you buy from the market again these are very carbs heavy and instead swap them over for things like almond milk um, coconut milk those are healthier versions and they're lower in calories so yes no milk not semi skim not skim not nothing change over and go for almond milk coconut milk and make sure that when you even get the almond milk it's the unsweetened version it's the one that is actually straight from almonds not the ones that's been doctored to make it sweeter so yes those are 10 things i did to help me lose weight i've got more things you can add to it but start with those 10 things today and you see that the weight starts to come off that's your super sized tips to becoming a super size eight thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video and found it helpful and you want to hear the other things i did to help me lose weight then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you get notifications for when i do new videos and i'm going to try to make sure that new videos come out every monday so please come back and check out my videos thank you and here is to you a new cooler slimmer and healthier you it's all about skinny cooking and healthy living